the other day she said to me, it's always school, school, school. <laughs> so I said, yes, I have to go to school so that I can do things for you that I want to do. So she's starting to understand now better. I was 15 when I had my baby. I didn't know what's gonna happen after this. Will, will I move forward in life? Because I only had grade eight. I was at home for about two years and then I started school again. Mainstream school wasn't gonna accept the 18 year old in grade nine. School of Hope is one of the schools that gave you a second chance. That's why I'm here. School of Hope is smaller, the classes are smaller. There's more support than in a mainstream school. The teachers know you actually by name. We're in a mainstream school. They know you, but they don't really care whether you do anything. Just that School of Hope really pushes you, the staff, even the support staff, not just the teachers. They're always supporting you and they're always guiding you. At the moment, I'm feeling overwhelmed. I don't know what to expect. I don't know what is coming my way, but I'm gonna give it my all. When I'm done doing school, grade 12, I want to go and study to be a foundation first teacher. That is really something that I really want to do. If you don't have hope, if you feel like there's no hope in you, then how can you move forward? Like, then you're just nothing. You're gonna be fixed minded. So, having hope is actually knowing for yourself that there is something better for you.